man, no luck. I was really hoping we would catch one on camera. It would have been the perfect end to that little video montage, but that's just how it goes, especially when you're filming. Anyway, this is a road life series episode, which means we're just going to chat, kind of drop the script, um, and I'm going to try to give you some honest insight into what it's like living on the road full time in the truck camper. Oh, by the way, check it out. Hat clip trick. Thank you, Devin. Um, my buddy Devin mentioned it might be a little distracting for viewers if I'm holding the microphone in front of my face, which I totally understand. Um, I just really didn't like the way it looked clipped to the shirt. Um, so we're going to give this a try for now. Not sure if I love the way it looks either. It's kind of like an ugly flower in my ear or something. But whatever. Let's try it out. Let me know what you think. Hopefully the audio is still good too. Um, yeah. The other day a friend of mine asked, What do you think, John? How's living in the truck? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> But that's also like a, that's a really hard question to answer. Um, I've been at it for about two months now. And, you know, I don't want to sugarcoat it. It's, it's had its highs and its lows. Um, I think mostly I'm going through an acclimation period right now, which is to be expected. I think anybody who like lives in a city or works a full-time job and then makes a transition to a life like this, um, you have to kind of, create your new schedule and your uh, your new sense of normal in your life um, it's a lot of uncompressed time and it's also a lot of quiet time like 90% of the places I go to don't have service anymore and I'm that's where I'm living now um, which has been awesome in the sense that I don't wake up every single morning and just doom scroll and rot my brain like that but uh, it, it's definitely taken some getting used to And that's fine. I think all transitions in life, you go through a period of discomfort that we try to fast forward through and just like get to the end of it. But um, anything worth trying in life is, is worth having a little bit of uh, discomfort for, you know. I can also say this about it. I'm the type of person who had that little like demon on his shoulder, right? He's like, come on, man, pack it all into storage. Let's hit the road, let's go. And I told that little guy, to, you know, shut up for years, like 10 years. I, I tried to, to push down that urge or that desire and um, try to convince myself that I could be a weekend warrior or that I could get away with like two week stints. Man, it never worked. <laughs> that voice never went away. And uh, I can say now I ha have a very deep sense of peace around at least giving this a go, you know? I don't know if it's gonna last forever, but man, am I happy that I'm out here trying it. It feels like, uh, it feels like something I was kind of built to do, you know, uh, whatever that means, but it does. You know, I, I'm really happy to, to be giving it a go, so. Anyway, yeah, the takeaways this week are, uh, you know, after two months on the road, it feels there's still an acclimation period that I'm going through um, and getting used to quiet time and setting my own schedule again. Um, and then also, you know, if you hear that voice in, in your head or on your shoulder, whatever, it, if you hear that voice to go, um, I know what that's like. That's That's a that's a tough thing to come to terms with, especially if you're holding down like a good stable job or you're in a really good relationship or any of those things, um, that can be a challenge. So um, for me, it's been very relieving to finally make this jump, even if it doesn't last forever. So I'm glad, glad to be out here trying it. So I think that's it for now. I hope everyone's doing well. Gonna continue to have these chats, you know, weekly, bi-weekly, uh, no real cadence to them, just when they when they feel right or when I have something to talk about. Um, but hope everybody's doing well. I'll see you guys next time.